With all Hello. of that in mind, I'm rolling. <laughs> uh, my name's Lauren Elaine. I'm the writer of the short film Freedom Lovers, and I'm producing it with Nicholas Giordano here. Yeah, we're gonna talk about the film, and we're eventually gonna ask you for money, because that's what this is all about. Don't say that. No. It's our passion to yeah. make films, and uh, that's why we're basically here. All the characters are really, really well thought out. And they all, they're all flawed people, every one of them. All three characters are, are flawed and in, some way, in, their, yeah. in their some way, you know. So the main character is Gregory, Gregory Matthews, and he is, you know, a middle-aged politician in Houston. He's running for mayor. Um, he, he, you know, has very strong views um, about guns. He believes very strongly in the Second Amendment. Um, and then he just got remarried to the character I'm playing, Lydia Matthews. Uh, we've only been married a year, and in that year, you know, it's been, he's been gone a lot, he's been campaigning, he's been going to events, and I join him sometimes, but, you know, a lot of times I don't go, because I'm not really, I don't feel a part of that world. Mm. I mean, I'm almost half his age also, so we don't really relate to each other on a many different levels. And then what are the consequences of that? The consequences are that I fall in love with someone who I do relate to, someone that is more like me, which is his son, Troy, who is a very interesting character. Mm -hmm. Troy is, um, you know, he's going to school in Texas and because of that, his dad is uh, paying for his schooling. He said, you know, I'll pay for your school, but you, I want you to come live with me because I want to start building a relationship with you. They haven't been in each other's lives very much. So you, how did you come up with the idea for this? What, what prompted all of this, uh, writing about this particular subject? Mm -hmm. Well, I've become very interested in certain social issues lately, one of them being gun control. And, you know, I was just seeing a lot of stories in the news, like um, Oscar Pistorius, the Olympic runner who mm -hmm. shot his girlfriend, Maybe accidentally, we Maybe. don't know yet. And then I was also inspired by Ohio Senator Rob Portman, whose son came out as gay, and he switched his um, views on gay marriage after that happened. And I just was thinking, why does it take it happening to you personally for you to empathize with the other side? Right. And it always takes something like that. It's like what you wrote, you know, the consequences don't matter until it happens to you, until it's personal. I just think that we need to have a different attitude towards guns and people get very sensitive right. about this subject. I don't think it's an anti-gun film. I no. really don't. I really don't feel it's an anti-gun film. I think it's more about just raising awareness. Well, and we see these, we see these stories in the news every day. Mm -hmm. Like a child shoots another child right. on accident because the gun is just laying around. And the thing is, is that you see this and you say, wow, that's really sad. But you feel so separate from it. It's like, oh, well, it didn't happen to me. That's awesome. Right. You know, you really need to take a, a look at what's happening in this world and what's ha how it's affecting other people and not so much on such a broad level, but how personal it is and how heart-wrenching it is for people to lose loved ones to anything. You wanted to create a film where you'll meet these characters and you empathize with them, and then this bad thing happens, and it's an accident. Mm -hmm. But if you didn't have a gun in the house, it never would have happened. He would have avoided it completely. I've, I've produced a lot of my own projects before, small videos, mostly just YouTube videos. Um, that cost money that I funded myself, but they were on a much smaller scale. Now we want to take this on a, I want to, you know, I wanted to do a project on a bigger scale and I can't fund it myself or else I'll go broke. Mm -hmm. I have no place to live. So that's why, you know, we're asking for donations um, so that we can make this the best that it can possibly be. I mean, yeah. it's what's, well, you know, sometimes it's a shame that, that art costs money because a lot of artists don't have a lot of money. So we definitely need help. We yeah. need... Uh... We appreciate you taking the time to watch our video. We're excited to make a film, but we're also excited to make a film about this very topical issue. And uh, we... Would love to have you come on this journey with us. Thank you so much.